I had 87 opportunities in my name, Harry. And if you know anything about enterprise sales, that's way too many opportunities. Uh, but I started to, to close deals about uh, month six. And what I recognized was you don't need product market fit in order to sell an enterprise, especially as that first seller. What you need to find is product customer fit. And so when you have a huge amount of pipeline like that, you can really prioritize it and focus on the accounts that match best with the vision that you're building toward and where their required capabilities match with your core competencies. So when you focus on that 20% that's going to drive 80% of your outcome, amazing things happen. And I closed about $13 million of revenue that first year. I mean, wow, but let's just kind of, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> $13 million of revenue for one rap alone. I wish you'd work in some of my portfolio companies. <laughs> um, my, my question to you is, you said there about kind of product customer fit. I love it. I get it. But we have those 86 companies. What do we do then? What does product customer fit actually mean? Help me and help sales leaders and reps understand that. Yeah, so it, it goes down to, to something that I, that I built later on, a, a qualification methodology I called Lean Pivot Walk. And essentially what you're trying to do is understand, hey, if the boxes that they're looking to check are the boxes that we check really well, you should lean in. You should be going after that opportunity uh, full force. If what they're looking for is something that is not even on your roadmap and, and wouldn't be on your roadmap for the next five years, you need to be honest with yourself. So many reps out there have happy ears, and just because someone wants to meet with them, they think, hey, they've got an opportunity. You need to be honest and, and be able to walk away and qualify that deal out. And then there are other opportunities where maybe you check some of the boxes and not others. And is there a world where they're willing to have two different solutions, one for the rest of the world and maybe one for North America? And so you start to understand these dynamics, and you can play off of them and, and ultimately close a lot of business that way. You said that you can get product customer fit without having product market fit. I'm really intrigued. Does the salesperson need to be the one to create the sales book playbook or does the founder need to be? How do you think about that question in terms of the product market fit question as well? Yeah, for product market fit, I think that that is driven more by by the founder uh, being out in the field, talking to customers, talking to prospects, uh, really understanding their pain points and being able to, to dive in at that level. But when you think about sales and a sales playbook, I think that's originating from the salesperson. And in some businesses, the founder is that first seller. Uh, in other businesses, I would say uh, you, you want to hire a junior salesperson to go out there and, and figure things out. But in no circumstances do you really want to bring in a VP of sales before you have a seller because they're going to come in with the preconceived notions that ultimately might not mesh with, with your particular business model.